Hey, Nathan here, and welcome back to another tutorial from PH Studios. In this tutorial series, we are going to extend the tower defense engine and create the game portion so we can actually develop and use the engine. Now, this is probably going to be a quick series. I don't want to spend a long time on this like I did with the engine series, so... The only thing we'll really focus in depth on is the level selection screen. Everything else, uh, it'll be pretty quick to implement and get everything going. Okay, so I'm going to provide a zip file. Uh, just one second, that's my repositories. So I'm going to give you a zip file. And in that zip file, I'm going to give you the content that you can use in the game. That will be the audio and the textures. Because we will build the XML files in this series, so we don't need I don't need to give you those. But the audio, I will not give you the wave files directly. So I'm gonna give you the sound bank, wave bank, and the uh, engine that you can use in the game. For the textures, I'll give you the resulting images, either JPEG. PNG, whatever, and then you can use those in your game. You have no restrictions. You can use these however you want to. You can have them in your final project if you want to. Uh, I have no restrictions on how you use these. So that will be a zip file. You will see that in the description either the YouTube description or my website where I describe the tutorial, you can download this zip file. So this tutorial will just be getting everything set up and I'll discuss two ways to start the game development. So this is the resulting project after we finished the last tutorial for the engine series. We got everything cleaned up and this is the final code. So we can either, there are two things we can do. We can leave it as it is and go to build, build solution or rebuild solution if you want to do that. And that will rebuild everything and you go to the output window and you'll take that DLL. And you will take that and create a brand new project for your game. And then you'll reference that DLL and then use that in your game. However, that might cause an issue if you need to update something in your engine. You have to launch another Visual Studio window and do your changes and then build another DLL and then update the DLL in your game and it'll just cause a lot of confusion. So what I suggest is the second way is to rename your solution, and we'll be doing this in the tutorial, by the way. Rename your solution, and then add a new project for the game. And then we'll need to add a content reference. So let's do that. Let's rename the solution, and we'll take out the engine. So Tower Defense Tutorial is going to be the new solution name. And we're going to right click, add, new project. And we're going to add a Xena Game Studio 4.0 Windows Game 4.0. And we'll call this Tower Defense Game Implementation. You're welcome to name it whatever you want. I'm going to click OK. Now we add the game and we added the reference and it will automatically add the content reference for us. One final thing we need to do. If we press F5, nothing will happen. Now if we right click the Tower Defense Game Implementation Project and we'll set as Startup Project. Now if we press F5, now it starts our game. 
So let's go ahead and close that window, and I'm going to close all other tabs at the top. Okay, so we just added our game implementation to our solution, which we renamed to Tower Defense Tutorial. It automatically added the content that we can add our content, our textures, and our audio, and our XML data. It already added that stuff for us. Now, we need to reference the engine. So, let's right-click References, and let's click Add Reference. And it should go to the Projects tab. If it doesn't, just click the Projects tab, and you'll see the Tower Defense Engine Tutorial. Just double-click that, and it'll add that as a reference. So now we are referencing the Engine Tutorial. We are having some yard work being done, so uh, I apologize if there's any banes or some noise in the background. Okay, so this tutorial is just going to get everything set up for us. So what we're going to do is make all of our folders and everything in our project. So we are going to use a screen system that I've modified for years. It started off with the original Paddles tutorial. Then I extended the functionality for the Spacer tutorial. And now I extend the functionality even farther for the Tower Defense tutorial. So we're going to use that and I'll give you the DLL in the zip file as well. So for now let's just build the folders. So let's right click our game implementation. Let's go to add new folder. And then let's call this menu menu entries and let's right click the menu entries folder and let's add a class called main menu entry all right let's go ahead and close that and minimize that folder and let's add another folder Let's call this one Screens. Now we're going to add several classes here. So we're going to have a Game Over Screen. And let's just keep on adding classes. Help Screen. Level Selection Screen. Main Menu Screen. Options Screen. Pause Screen. Play screen and video intro screen. If you have a video for your website or your company name or something like that, we can have a video intro to start the game off. Okay, so let's minimize the screens folder. And I'm using my finished project as a... Uh, guide here so don't take too much time now let's right click game1.cs and let's rename it to tower defense game and let's click yes and there we go okay so now let's talk about the particle system and the screen system dll that will be given to you in the zip file as well. And you will want to go to the main folder where you have your content, where you have your project. And this is for this project. As you see, we have Tower Defense Engine Tutorial, Tower Defense Game Implementation. It's what 
our net what our game is so we go to that folder and then we have two folders for the content and our game itself you'll want to go into the game itself so what you'll want to see are the menu entries folder and the screens folder with our tower defense game.cs file you'll want to see a page like this and you want to take the particle system and screen system dll and paste them in there once you do that let's go back to visual studio and let's right click references in our game implementation project and let's set add reference uh, and now let's go to the browse tab and we have our two dll's there so you can click one hold shift click another one so we load both of them once you do that they will both be loaded you can see them in the references list particle system and screen system all right all right so let's work on the content project so let's add a few folders here for audio fonts maps monsters textures towers video and wave I'm just gonna take away the S there in videos so we have audio fonts maps monsters textures towers video and wave now we're going to go to the zip file I gave you and take our audio and copy it to the audio folder so now we have the audio set alright so fonts we'll worry about that later maps let's add a new folder in there called level one and we'll change the name later on but I'm just demonstrating that each map needs a specific folder so level one, level two, those are two different maps. They need to be in a separate folder for it to work. Monsters, we'll get to that later as well. Textures, let's go back to the zip file and let's copy all these folders and paste them in the textures folder. So now we have all these textures in our project. And you can tell if they're in your project by clicking one of the assets and looking at the lawn full path. So it's in my project right now. The towers folder, let's right click and add a new folder for bullets. And that will be everything. So those are the folder structures we'll be using. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I know it's probably not a fun tutorial, but we got all the groundwork done. And next tutorial, we will build the tower defense game file and get that ready to go. And then we'll worry about the individual screens and stuff later. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more tower defense tutorials. Uh, this series will probably be around eight episodes or so, and uh, we'll go from there.